Stop. Stop. All right. <laughs> the last type of, re of uh, compounds we got to talk about for reactions are aromatic reactions. All right. Now we only saw a very small uh, amount of these uh, in chem in chapter two, unit two on this, and uh, there was some you know funky naming that went on here. It's not as easy as the other ones. I don't do a lot with that. I can have a whole branch of chemistry devoted to aromatic chemistry, and we I'm just giving you a small taste. One day in that last unit, one day today, not even a whole day. All right, today, um, but uh, you know just to, so you've seen it. Basically, all the aromatic guys are derivatives of benzene. Remember benzene? Okay. Uh, we're going to draw him. We're going to make a few of those right now. But I, I'm using AR to represent that. All right, before I do, a few things about aromatic reactions. Most of them are substitution reactions. You're just going to replace something. Texas camp. You're going to replace a hydrogen that's on that benzene ring. You're going to replace that. Um, that's why it's a substitution reaction. Although, we'll find, we'll talk about this under polymers. Uh, next unit is uh, going to have talk about uh, miscellaneous organic stuff, and one of the unit parts and subunits will be polymers. Um, you can use benzene in polymerization. You've probably heard of some of these things. We'll talk about them. You've already heard of some other ones I've mentioned just in passing. Esters. What do you think a polymer is that's made of an ester? Think. Polyester. Polyester, <laughs> yeah. And uh, something you may have heard of, perhaps, that also has a benzene ring in it, but it's all, is a, uh, a polymer, polystyrene, uh, which is basically um, like a... Foam packing material, like those packing peanuts, stuff like that. Uh, anyway, we'll talk about all that next unit. Right now, let's get through just some very basic two reactions for polymers. I refer mean, um, aromatics. I'm going to use AR to represent it because it's so hard to find a good, uh, it just, that just means some aromatic compound that has a benzene ring in it, like this guy. Draw that guy first. So I've got just simple, what would I call him again? With It's just that ring and nothing else on it, what is it? No, he is no, not cyclohexane. He's benzene because he has the alternating double bonds, which actually aren't alternating double bonds. And there's a lot, it really is a resonance structure. And there's a lot of ways I could draw that guy. I could draw him like this. Don't do this. All right. Um, I could draw it with the actual carbons and the hydrogens. And, and, and the double bonds. And remember, the double bonds are not really here and not there. They're a resonance structure. Okay? Either way, I will most likely draw it like one of these two, that or the ring inside, one or the other. Okay? Now, if I take this guy and I add him to chlorine, what's going to happen? Well, what, what is not shown in either way I draw these, you've got to keep this in mind, whether I draw it this way or that way, what's not shown is the fact that there are H's coming out of each of these. There's an H coming off of that carbon, because each carbon has four things bound to it. So if this is the carbon, it's got one, two, three, four. Each one of those. So basically what happens is one of those H's is going to come off and combine with one of the chlorines, and the other chlorine is going to come in there and take its place. Okay? That's hard. And that's what you get. That's bullying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bullies. Yeah. No bullying. Don't get a job. What, that's what should I have got from that. If you watch the Campus Life Assembly, and realizes she never wants to get a job. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, name everybody. What will this guy be called? Benzene. Benzene. And this guy over here. I don't really need a number because there's only one guy on there. Yeah, just chlorobenzene. If you call him one chlorobenzene, I'm not going to matter. It's not going to matter, but uh, chlorobenzene. All right. Now, here's the problem. I bet you forgot, but it's going to be on here as well. Do you remember the other common naming system for some of the guys that have methyls on there? For example, don't do this. If I had a CH3 on the top of him, you remember what he was called? Well, obviously he's methyl benzene, but what's his actual common name? Or, is it ortho? No, we're going to get to those. No. No, we're going to get to those. No. The guy's actual name begins with a T. Toluene. Toluene. Very good. All right. So we're going to see toluene in, a, in the next example, but 
You're, the ones you guys were just saying. How about these three? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, ortho. This would be ortho, mana, and para what? If they're dimethylbenzene, their name for dimethylbenzene would be? Xylene, right. Xylene. Okay, so this would be ortho xylene, meta, and para xylene. Should we write those down? Well, you don't have to. They're already in your notes, but I'm just saying they're going to be there. Uh, they're, they're, could, they could be there. On the review sheet I'm going to give you today, on the test you're going to have on Friday, and the review we'll see tomorrow, all right, you're going to see these. All right, you have to know how to name them. Okay? Are you going to put the bonus that you did with the paradise? You did with I, I, have, I have a couple more funny bonus ones, and I have a real bonus one, which I'm going to give you a, a, a kind of a hint about at the end of the notes today. today. The notes aren't going to take much longer, as you can see. I only have one more example. Today for the review? No, no, no. The, the, tomorrow. I, I'll talk about that a little bit. All right. No, well, that's true. There are two reviews. But we're not, uh, today's review, I told you, I'm not, there's nothing I can really do to review for this except tell you what's on the test. You have to study this stuff. It's, this stuff, uh, just to take a few seconds out, this stuff is going to be a whole section. I've already been hinting about this. It's going to be, the hardest part will be these kind of guys. All right, where I give you a, don't copy these down. You already have them all in here. Why are these so tough? Because they, the they all look the same. All right? And those are the four. I wrote these on the board for the other class, too. Those are the four biggies. I think most people know if I have an OH on something, it's a what? Uh, yeah, everybody knows that. If I have a double bond, it's a alkene. If I have a triple bond, it's a alkyne. All right, and if I don't have anything on it, it's an alkane. So you know the alkanes, the alkenes, the alkynes, the alcohols. These are the guys that are, and as a matter of fact, you even though most people aren't going to get wrong that guy because it's kind of given away, ether or, either or, right? Or. So you're kind of going to get those right. It's these guys are the carbonyl group, and they all look alike. What's this one? Uh, aldehyde. Dr. Jekyll and aldehyde. What about this one? That's a carboxylic, carboxylic acid. How about this guy? Oh, wait, wait I, I forgot the old. Uh, no, wait. No, no, I didn't. That's right. That's right. What's that guy? The double bond and oh, the carbonyl group is not on the end, but rather in the middle. It's a ketone. And over here, we made a bunch of these in the lab and in esters, right? Yeah. Ethers are these guys. Where either or, either or, you can basically finish it. Either or. Get it? All right, okay. Anyway, I didn't want to do that right now, but either way. Another example of a reaction that um, aromatics undergo is nitration. I chose this one because it's a neat, it's got a neat ending to it. Uh, let's talk about a nitration reaction. Only this time, instead of using benzene, we'll use, what's that? Come on. Well, he's obviously methyl benzene, but what would I call him? Toluene, exactly. That would be his common name. Either way, toluene or, and by the way, on the test, I'll probably ask you for both ways. Toluene or dimethyl benzene. Or, I mean, toluene or methyl benzene, sorry. And I'll add nitric acid to it. Now, nitric acid is nasty stuff. Um, we don't, you, you only use sulfuric, concentrated sulfuric acid in like one lab this year. Uh, that was the ester lab. We had to add it as a catalyst, all right? Um, we've, we don't use nitric acid at all. I use it to mix up some stuff. I use it to help things dissolve. But I don't give it to you ever. Nitric acid is nasty stuff. Um, they, if I react nitric acid with toluene, which I could have easily done when I first came here, I could make a very nasty compound. I'll explain what, what, what you can make from this as we go on. But you can tell me by looking at the general formula what's going to actually happen here. Right? If you look at here, it's not going to touch the CH3. It's going to add across the, you know, the um, benzene ring. And here's what's really going to happen. Remember, there's an H sticking out of here, right? So you have this H and this H, and one of these O's will make what? Water. And what's left over? You already lost that H, you lost one of the O's, it's an NO2, and it's going to get added onto there. That's what's happening all right, in this reaction. Let's see. What would you draw? You put it in, say, well, where do I put it? As far as I'm concerned on this one, you could put it anywhere, okay? We'll, we'll probably put it, in this case, uh, right there, okay? I'm not going to take off for where it goes. All right, in which case, you would call this guy 1, 2, 3 nitrotoluene, right? You could write that down, 3 nitrotoluene.
nitro. Yeah, NO2, the prefix for that guy is going to be nitro. Three nitro toluene, and um, uh, or you could also have called him, uh, and it, it really, I guess it doesn't matter, but it, technically he takes precedence. This would be a four methyl uh, um, one nitro benzene. But either way, okay, if you if you'd called it four uh, nitro one methyl benzene, I, I wouldn't carry it. But either way, what's, what else is produced in this? Water. Water. Okay. Now, guys, neat thing about this reaction. That's all you would have to write. Please don't write the next thing I'm going to do down. But in industry, this is a very common reaction, okay, especially in the war industry, because uh, I, can actually, I can actually do this three times. I can actually do this three times, and I can put on NO2s up here. Let me erase these. I can put it out to here, here, and there. Okay, and if I do that, I would have two, four, six. Well, I, I think I actually have that written out here. Um, two, four, six tri nitro toluene, which I purposely capitalized certain letters in that. T N T. Exactly. Yay. I get T. Is an NO two mixed around with? Isn't that nitrous? Like, what, what, what do I do if I put it in my truck oh, and I go faster? No, just NO2. I think it's not nitrous. Nitrous? I, number one, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you drive a Pontiac I drive a Vive and a minivan, so I don't soup up my car. Nitrous. It's the blue bottle. That the blue I've never put, put a bottle no. of... Well, no, nobody does. They, do, they use it in, like, drag racing. Okay. Street, street drag racers. Making well, class. of course. I, I should you, know that. Yeah. I know you do that. Today. I know that, right? Yeah. Never mind. Forget I even asked that. Anyway, I don't know. The answer is I have no idea. Um, so, TNT. Yeah. When, did, like, when was this created, TNT? Uh, well, I, was, I just looked it up a little while ago. I forget who came up with the, uh, came up with the first formulation. You know, like, years, like, general, like, years? I would say, like, 100 years ago, maybe. I don't know. Uh, uh, maybe 200 years ago. The original guy came up with dynamite. You know what the Nobel Prize is named for? The guy who invented Dino. What? Steve Nobel. I don't know his first name. <laughs> <laughs> but it is the guy who invented dynamite. Uh, did you know that? No. And, but uh, TNT, I'm not sure I don't, when it was. <laughs> anyway, that's really, you know, neither here nor there. Um, on the test, I would not expect you to do all of those. Let's go backwards here. Um, you would only be writing um, that. I mean, that would be your answer, and which would be, uh, you know, four nitro toluene. Okay, you wouldn't do it three times over to make uh, TNT. If you did that three times, you'd have to have a three in front of this anyway. All right, good enough. Um, now I'm going to stop here. So that's aromatic. Let's talk about amines very quickly. Amines. Now, what I mean here is, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, amines are, they're, they're basic. Yeah. Basically, it's like when I was talking about acid and base. Well, basically, a base. Basic. Anyway, I mean. Basically, your jokes are more. Yeah. It's basic. Basically, what they're. Uh, they're basic as opposed to um, carboxylic acids. Now, let's talk about this a little bit because we're going to do a lot more with it in about mm, a month. In a month, we're going to do uh, biochemistry. And what do you think I'm going to. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on the means here today. But I am going to spend quite a bit of time on amines and how they're used to do a very important reaction. What do amines make up in biochemistry? If you add them to another amino, amino acids, exactly. Ooh. Amino acids are used to make DNA. Actually, <laughs> DNA make <laughs> amino acids. Protein. You're used to make proteins. Exactly. Did you break your seat, Harrison? Yeah. What the heck? You're not even that fat. <laughs> you gotta lose some weight, man. What do you weigh? Like 110 pounds? <laughs> we'll fix it later. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Sit down. All right. So, no, look. I don't even have any reactions to the amines. We're gonna talk about the most important ones under biochemistry. Uh, for now, all I want you to do is uh, he will show up. Uh, you should know that unlike acids, which donate H's, amines accept them. Okay. Let's talk about the possibilities I could have here. Think of the, the amine as almost like being a derivative. This is kind of like backwards. Remember, uh, they're almost like a derivative of ammonia. What was our most famous um, base? We had two famous bases. 
Uh, our most famous acid was hydrochloric acid, obviously, but we also use sulfuric a lot. Our most famous base was probably NaOH, no surprise. But there was another base that didn't have an OH in it that was really important. We used it a lot. We saw it a lot. It was this guy. Remember what his name was? Yeah, ammonia. 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 Yeah, he was ammonia. Think of um, an amine as being an organic ammonia. Instead of being NH3, one of those H's is replaced by an R. You can still do the same thing ammonia did. When you added HCl to ammonia, oh, plus ammonia, not, not really else, plus ammonia, this H got donated to that guy, and you got NH4 positive. So he was able to accept an H. Same thing's true for this guy. This is an amine, all right? And all it is is I've replaced one of the H's with an R. Now, this guy in particular happens to be uh, uh, only bound to one R group, so he's a primary amine. Your, your notes, for some reason, shifted all the R's. You can just cross out the R's to the right there. This is what they should look like up here in your notes, okay? They should look like this, okay? So draw those incorrectly. Erase those other R's that got shifted for some reason on there, okay? Now notice... This is a primary mean because that N is bound to only one carbon. This is a secondary mean because the N is bound to two and the tertiary is bound to three. And there's something possibly could show up on the test. Primary, secondary, tertiary. You know what that means? Right? You should. You should know what that means. You never taught us that. I never taught you that. All right. Now, again, not a whole lot of stuff on amines. We're going to see them a lot more under biochem and you're going to see them with carboxylic acid.